Now we go on to calculate the number of atoms that are found in, in, in different types of unit cells. The first and the simplest is the primitive, the first is the primitive, primitive cubic unit cell. We know that it has got atoms, it is a cubic, it's a cube and it has atoms at all the corners. Fine. So what happens when I have atoms at all the corners, then let us try to understand about one corner atom. So one of the corner atoms, one of the corner atoms, okay, is being shared by, by eight cubes. So if I have one atom out here, fine, and I extend this, say like this, and this, and this, this. So, so it is. Somehow I, I've made this cube a bit longer, which is, is not done in a sense. But, but, but kindly understand, kindly understand. Okay, so. Hope it's not becoming a bit muddled. It will start becoming muddled because you'll not understand which cube is where. So let me let me erase some of these, and since they are not visible, let me make them dotted. Okay, that that will give you a better idea of what I'm talking about. That. That makes it, this is also not visible, dotted, 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 dotted. Is it now understood? No. This is also not visible. So this is also dotted. This is also not visible. Okay. So this is also dotted. Now, now are you able to see that there are four cubes stacked? One, two, three, four. No, not visible. What? Yes or no? And obviously there will be, there will be a, this thing. Somehow I have made some mistake. Some mistake somewhere. Wait. So if I, if I, if I take it like that, this this and this and I go down okay I go down and I repeat the same structure 